A recent report revealed almost a third of Tennessee college students may experience some degree of food insecurity. But as new Chai Levis Jayana Scurry tells us, East Tennessee State University is ensuring its students never go hungry. Jayana? Sarah Casey, two years ago, the Tennessee Higher Education Commission asked all higher learning institutions to submit a study on how they are dealing with food insecurity on campus. ETSU has been doing that with their Bucky's Food Pantry program. In 2011, David Shields, an ETSU graduate student, established Bucky's Food Pantry. He saw that there was a need for it with so many students being food insecure. Basically, food insecurity is nothing more than not being able to access food, uh, nutritional food, on a daily basis. And, you know, three square meals a day, as it, it used to be called. Bucky's Food Pantry has three locations. The walk-in pantry at the Culp Center, one at the Buck Ridge Housing, and a distribution center at the Kingsport ETSU campus. It's available to students, staff, faculty, retirees, and alumni. We have bins around campus where students can donate food. Um, we also are partnered with Second Harvest, and through Second Harvest we pick up from three different local grocery stores each week. Usually we have lots of bread. We have lots of baked goods. We get fruits, vegetables, uh, all different kinds of meats donated. Sometimes there's frozen meals. Um, we also have like lots of sauces and dry goods that come in as well. Both Patton and Dill say food insecurity can impact students academically. If they're not getting enough nutrition, then it starts to affect their mental and their physical health. And so once that happens, then their GPA is going to go down. For some of them, having food access means the difference in them being able to stay enrolled or not. Annabelle Crecci is a student worker in Bucky's Food Pantry and encourages more people to use this resource. Being a college student is expensive. There's also a lot of um, foreign exchange students that come here. Uh, the, the exchange rate for money is really is terrible. So uh, oftentimes they use this resource to get food, which I think is great. Right now, there is an ongoing effort to put together a survey. In the meantime, there is the school's annual day of giving on April 16th. People can donate to the food pantry during that time. Sarah, Casey, 